Hi everyone, my name is Wendy and about two months ago I became an Instacart in-store shopper. Now, when I started looking at this job, when I, after I went to the interview, I started doing some research online. I saw a lot of YouTube videos for full service shoppers but very, very few for the in-store shoppers. Now, don't get me wrong, the full service shopper videos give you a lot of tips and tricks that you can use because part of their job is the same as the in-store shopper. The major difference between an in-store shopper and a full service shopper is that the in-store shopper is an actual hourly paid employee, whereas the full service shopper is paid um, by the batch and they get paid mileage and they actually are involved in the delivery as well as the shopping of a batch or order. The in-store shopper, all they do is they do the shopping. They are not involved with the delivery at all. So what I'm going to do in this video, I have a, a lot of things here. Um, to show you that can kind of help. I'm going to show you what's in my kit to help you as an in-store shopper. Now, when you're an in-store shopper, at least in my area, um, you have to check and see how it is in your area. We have we can sign we can be assigned to a home store. This is a store that when we put in hours that we're available for, this is the store they assign us to that we take and we shop at. And what's nice about that is you can choose a store that's close to you. You can choose a store that you're familiar with, that you go to a lot, that maybe you know what kind of people shop there and that. But you do have the opportunity to shop at other stores in your area. You're not limited to just that one store for all your hours. So just be aware of that. They will put you first in your home store and if you are able to work an extra shift or they're not able to give you as many hours you feel you need for that week you can pick up shifts at other stores now there you need you do need a good phone for working um, it needs to be able to connect via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi a lot of the stores have um, free Wi-Fi and they do have what they call a guest Wi-Fi and it's helpful if you can connect up to that. I do have a few tips on that that I'll discuss later for what happens if for some reason the Wi-Fi isn't available. Now there are three apps that you will need to put on your phone and you can also access them from a tablet or even your home-based computer. One of them is called Workday and basically one moment. Basically what Workday does, you have a code that you put in. It has announcements. It gives you your pay slips so that you can see um, what you were paid, how much was taken out. Because remember, you are an hourly employee, so you will be um, filling out a W-2 form. You also go to this place on a home computer. <clears throat> Don't try it from a cell phone or a laptop or a tablet. It's just a little too complicated. But at a home-based computer, you can access it and you can ensure that your uh, bank for your direct deposit, which is the easiest way to do it, is correct. You can also in fill out your W-2 to make sure they take out the right deductions for the right state, excuse me, and everything. But it tells you also what your last pay, pay date was, when your next payday is. And you do get paid every week. Here, my pay goes in on Friday. Um, other places, it may, may be different during the week. They may go in on Monday, they may go in on Thursday, you know. It just it depends upon the year. For my area, it goes in on Friday. You can also take and view your pay slips um, to see what came out. You can also make adjustments to your tax deductions if need be. So that is one app that you need. 
Another app you need is called Slack. Um, in our, in our, um, we have this thing called Slack, and I think other areas do too. And we have two channels. We have one channel for the entire team, for the whole area. Then we have one specifically for our store. And the thing with the hours, once you put in your availability, um, if other hours come available at your home store, they have a policy now where they put it first on the home store Slack page. And if it's not taken from there, you um, it will be offered to the um, entire area Slack page. So that's how you get opportunities to work other stores. I see they have some other stores. Um, I'm going to check that out <laughs> when I get done with this video. Anyway, so that's the second one you need. The third one, which is really important because this is the one you use in the store actually, is called the Shopper app. This is where you set your availability. Um, you know, you can set your times like I don't think there's any hours here. Maybe there is. You set your time. Now at my stores, I'm going to have to check that out. At my, my stores, um, our hours run from 1, or 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday and from... Um, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturday and Sunday at my store and a lot of the, uh, quite a few of the stores. We do have some stores that they do run 9 to 5 or 9 to 6, uh, seven days a week. But at my home store, Monday through Friday, 1 to 6 and um, Saturday, Sunday, 9 to 5. All right. And you can see what my schedule is coming up. All right, there's no hours available. Pick. Okay, scared me there. Um, but the other thing that happens is you go to your dashboard. You also get to see how you're doing. You also have a page called Current Orders, and this is where you will see orders that you have already done, whether they're waiting for pickup from the actual store or whether they're waiting for delivery. Also, this is where you will also see um, orders you are currently working. Now, there's also messages. You will have chats, an inbox, which talks about maybe bonuses, holiday hours, um, not to take receipts. It'll talk about earnings. You'll see earnings. Um, that will show you how much you earn for the week. You can do a profile. How am I doing? Referrals. This is where if you refer a shopper, um, let's say someone comes to the store and asks you about how this works and that. You say, this is how it works. Listen, I can take and give you a referral and you'll get um, a special on your first order. And you can give them your referral code. Now, an order, when it comes up, in my app here, there you go, as you can see, these are demo, what they call demo orders. These are not real orders. And basically, I have my phone set so that when an order comes up when I'm in store, it comes up over no matter what I'm doing, and I also get a chime, and my phone vibrates. Um, I'll explain why I have that happen. Um, so... Let's look at a in-store shopping order. It will come up like this. You'll see the first name, 
note it's a fourth order, it tells you how many items, how many units. You accept the order, and then it will show you exactly what they want you to buy. It will tell you how many, exactly what brand, And let's say, okay, you found Camel's Cream of Chicken Soup. This will come up. As you can see, it will say Found Item. You will click Found Item, and then you will scan it. You will scan the uh, barcode on the item. Now, sometimes you can have the exact item. For some reason, the barcode will not uh, scan. You can force mark the item. That means that, yes, this is what they want, but for some reason it's not showing up correctly according to the barcode. For smart the item, you take, it'll take a picture, and I usually just press use picture. Now, if the picture's blurry or something, I'll retake the picture. But let's say for some reason they're out of Campbell's cream of chicken soup. Can't find item. It will do a few things. It will either give you suggestions of uh, comparable replacements. It will ask you um, to make a suggestion, you know, and it will give you a price. Okay. Now, then when you, if you find a replacement, I know at my store they have store brands um, of cream of chicken soup. So I would suggest a store brand cream of chicken soup. I would just click scan replacement. I would scan it. Hopefully it comes up. If it doesn't, you can you may have to search for the item. And you can put in the PLU, which is, again, the number under the barcode, not the far left and far right one, but the number between right underneath the barcode or you can put in the item name or you can enter manually come on Oops. chicken okay you know you'll do replacements whatever um, Enter replacement manually. You put in the name of the item. Does this item contain alcohol? I know in my store, and I think in a lot of stores around here, I cannot purchase alcohol for them. It'll ask you a per unit or per pound. So since this is a can of soup, per unit, how many units you put in, how many there are, the price, you know, 1.23, 1, replace item, you're done. Now, if they do not want the item, they'll let you know. All right. Now, sometimes it will say message Rebecca, and you can do that. So these are kind of fun to play with in that. Now, another thing, let's go back to the demo order. Let's go back to this new one. Okay, it doesn't do that. All right. What I have done is in my messages, whoops. When I have um, settings, that's what it is. In your settings, under your settings, you see something that says communications, you can make a custom greeting. I put in, hello, this is Wendy, I will be your shopper today. Okay. You can do whatever you want. They give you um, a whole line to create of different ones. Now, one thing that I have Notice. Okay, settings. No, that's not it. All right. And they've got all kinds of different 
perks to help you. Also, shopper help is helpful. Um, I would not text them. I would call them. Also, if you are calling a customer, you know, you saw in there it said call Rebecca. Well, you press that button, it will ring through. Then you will get a call back <laughs> from Instacart Shopper Helper. Take the call. They will ask you to press one to talk to the customer. Simple as that. It's kind of like a intermediary way of doing it. Um, sometimes you can, you might need to do app status, connectivity. You know, it's got all kinds of things in here. Um, if there is an issue with connectivity, you will see a. They will have something here for you. Um, I always check to make sure my phone is set. Oops, sorry for the thunder. Um, when I go into my connections, I always make sure my Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is on. I have noticed sometimes, uh, somehow, I don't know how, I think my phone grumbles right, airplane mode is on. Don't put that on, okay? Um, but yeah. All right. So yeah, if, if you are having issues with connectivity, um, I have found tra sometimes doing a mobile hotspot, if you're able to, helps. Do a scan to see if there's other uh, free Wi-Fi you can connect up with to help you out. All right. So got that. So we talked about the phone. And like I said, you can do it on your tablet, too. The only issue I have with the tablet is that it is so big and weldy, and it can be hard to do. Now, Instacart will issue you a credit card um, to pay for the um, orders. You don't have to use your own money because this is like a preloaded card that as soon as the customer places the order, uh, they get charged what they estimate it's going to cost plus a little extra, and then it goes on to this card. It just says Instacart. It has an expiration date. You don't even have to sign it. Um, at my stores, I just have to press um, for credit. Don't need a code. You notice I covered up the numbers here. And if when you have the land, when they, another little tip they give you, especially the in-store shoppers, is to order an extra card just in case. And they'll send you a lanyard. But if you notice, I have this nice little pocket to put mine in. You can find these at Walmart. There's like a dozen of them for under four bucks. So you, you can have those. And I just put it on my lanyard. All right. Some other things I take with. I do take my tablet with because, to be honest, sometimes there is downtime where you are sitting. And, yeah, you can use your phone in that. But I like to keep my phone free for the orders um, so I can refresh it. And I started taking my tablet with so that um, I can be doing whatever I'm doing on there. Usually I'm reading a book. Okay. Another thing I do is I take a cloth bag with me to put all my stuff in. So my tablet goes in there. <clears throat> Another thing that I take with me are power banks. I have three of them in here. Some, I think I'm going to add a fourth one in here just in case. Um, power banks, oh, believe me, they'll save you so much. You don't have to worry about your phone or your tablet dying because you can hook it up to a power bank. I do know in some, some stores they do have plug-ins, so if that's the case, make sure you take... Sorry, my cat has decided to join us. I've got treats all ready for her. Here you go. There you go. Um, so take your cords with you as well. I take two cords with me, one for my um, tablet, one for my phone. Another handy device 
is something like this. Now this is this is called a bit bag. It's a little. It's about fourteen dollars, and it just and it will adjust to almost any size phone. If you're using a tablet, I do know they make something for a tablet. Um, but this goes into my thing here. Actually, I lost my first one. That reminds me, I got to put my name on this one. Um, <laughs> but yeah. <clears throat> Oh, believe me, this is so handy because you just hook it onto the cart, and I station it high enough so that when I get an item, I can just hold it behind here, and I don't have to remove my phone. And my phone can actually stay hooked up to a power bank, so it's always charged. All right, some other things, maybe some Kleenex. I'll show you some other things I've got. Hi, you missed one. No? Okay, bye. <laughs> That's my cat mittens. She's a polydactyl. Um, some other things I take. Um, I do crafts, so I take something little. This will make I make um, dish. I'm making dishcloths. There's some extra stuff in there that I take with, and actually I'm going to put it in that other bag. Um, I've had stomach surgery, so I keep some Tums. I also keep some Tylenol. Uh, hand lotion, believe me, your hands will appreciate it. I got some more Kleenex in here. You don't need to take this if you don't want to. I take it because sometimes I get tired of reading a book or Facebook or whatever. You can take headphones with you, so you can um, do books on you know, books on tape, they used to be called in my day. All right. So some other things to help you. This one. You can find it at Walmart. If I am short. I'm sorry. I'm 5'4". And I know some people are shorter than me. This thing is a lifesaver. In fact, I'm going to see if I can get a second one. Just, I know I have one here at home, but, but this is what it is. It's a grabber. And as you push the handle, it grabs things. And it does rotate. So I can do this. So, But it's nice because I can rotate. And sometimes you're trying to get something and it's slid and falling down. They have other ones. So um, be on the lookout for them. I can also lock it. Whoops. I'm having too much fun with this. So that it won't release. Um, in fact, I'll, I'll give you a demonstration. I've got a water bottle here. So let's say it's a, this is the last one. Far in the back, we've all seen that. So I go ahead and I grab it. Now I'm worried about me dropping this just by holding it. Especially if you don't have a lot of hand strength. So I've locked it. And as you can see, I'm not holding it. It's locked. I release it. Okay. It goes in my cart. So this I, I love. I like this. Um, I tried one other one. And the darn thing broke before I even used it once. So I went back and got this one. Found it at Walmart. Um, water bottle. Um, <laughs> I do have reusable water bottles, but I've been reusing this because I bought it there at the store, and I, I was just like, okay. I, I I just refill it from home. This will usually get me through a four or five hour shift. Um, hand sanitizer. Got to have that. I'm thinking I, I need to refill this one. Nope, it's okay. A lot of stores also offer it, but having it on your on you is good. I also, um, for the ladies, get a, a small purse to put your stuff in. Um, another thing is lens wipes. 
for your phone or your tablet. Uh, some band-aids for a little band-aid kit. You can buy that at Walmart cheap. I keep an extra one of these for my chargers in there. Um, I also keep some paper and a pen and pencil and I'll tell you I had an order. Well there's two of them in there. It was two things. Two things. That's all it was. Um, but I had to have 156 of each item. So, you know, I could I could do it in my head and I was reasonably sure, but I wanted to make sure. So, yeah, pen and paper. Um, because then you can figure out if you have enough or not enough or whatever. I keep my keys in here. Um, I also keep the cards I need. I keep my driver's license. My car keys. I think there's some change down there. <laughs> Lip balm. Oh, gotta have that. Um, if you have a store loyalty card, you can use it for your own purchases. You cannot use it for um, a customer's purchase. You can use it for your own. And I do that. When I buy things there, I scan my loyalty card. Um, Make sure you have your lanyard and your card. And I'm going to put that this in that other bag. Now, it seems like I have a lot of bag or things, bags or whatever in here, but they all serve a purpose and they make my big bag neat. Um, the other thing I have is some snacks. I um. I've had stomach surgery, so I need to have specific type of snacks, um, stuff that is more high protein. I try and go as low carb as I can, though um, when I'm working, while well, I try to limit my carbs, I don't totally take them out. So I put some snacks in here, like I have peanut butter crackers, I have um, power-up bars, I have special K bars. I found these, you know. My husband put this in there. Uh, <laughs> I have a nut mixture, which is sunflower seeds, cashews, um, there's cranberries in there, bananas, pistachios, um, a few other things in there. I got dried blueberries, and I put some peanut butter. Quick, solid protein energy. And you know, Okay, container. So the big thing when you're an in-store shopper is to keep this neat. And in my store, I'm able to hang this um, from the card itself. But if they don't have it, get yourself some, they're called S-hooks or even carabiners. I'm going to grab some of those. Um, some carabiners so that you can hang that from the card. Actually, I'm going to drink that water. All right. Um, let me think of what else. Some tips. First off, be very open in communicating any issues. If you have done a shop one day and you come back the next day and you notice a bag is missing or is still there for a shop for a batch that you did the day before contact whoever your shift or store lead is and let them know hey this bag is still here I know I shopped it yesterday um, apparently the runner forgot it let them know as soon as possible if the labels are running low you get down to like two rows um, in the cart or the storage area, let them know so that they can make sure that they get more labels in there. Um, there has been a thing of ghost orders, which are where you may receive an incident report because an order came up. Well, no, it didn't because I have, you know, like I said, I have my phone set so that it, that um, it shows that I have a batch on top of 
anything that I'm doing on my phone. It also chimes, which sometimes scares me when I'm when I haven't been, had a batch for a while. Um, so if I have a batch that comes up, I am immediately notified. That's why I, rather than doing everything on my phone, I bring my tablet with and do my other stuff on my tablet and leave my phone uh, free for Instacart orders. Um, now, uh, is this a good gig? Yeah, I think it is. For one thing, you get to set your own hours. So for someone like me um, who has some medical issues in that, it's perfect because I am able to set the days for the for the week. If, I, if I've done, you know, if I've had a fairly good week where I've worked three or four days and I'm starting to feel it really, I can cut back on a day. They do ask that you are available for 20 hours, and they ask that eight of those hours be um, Saturday and Sunday. Oops, wrong with it. Yeah, they ask for a minimum of eight hours on the weekend. Oh, okay. My hours changed. <laughs> no, that's that's my availability. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> they do ask that you are available at a minimum of eight hours on the weekend. So you could do two four-hour shifts on Saturday and Sunday, um, or one eight-hour shift, whatever you want. They ask that you are available during the week. They ask for a minimum of 20 hours. And, you know, depending upon how you put it, you can get those. I put in, I was available for these three days, and that's a total of 16, 21 hours. Oops. And then my schedule for next week, I got 5, 13, 17. And I am happy with between 16 and 20 hours. Perfect for me. I also have the opportunity to take another shift if I want to. Um, so this is, this can be good for a college student to make money because you know, they can set their shift according to when they're available. If you don't have a car, being an in-store shopper is sometimes a better option because you don't have to have a car to drive, to deliver, because you're in the store. You're there. They pay you by the hour, whether you're actually shopping the entire um, hours you are set there or whether you're not. I've, I had one day where... I was scheduled from 9 to 1. I did not have one batch. Nobody wanted anything. Of course, it was right after the holidays, so everybody had everything they needed. Um, but they still paid me for it. Of course, the next shift I worked, which, which was Monday, I had batches right off. And the thing is to realize is um, depending upon where you are working, if you work more than, at least in my state, if you work five or more hours, you they are mandated to give you a half hour break. And, you know, if you go on the app and it says you're on break and it says end break early, you can push it and whether or not it'll end you early and give you an order, it's it really depends upon... Um, if they have orders or not. But they have to give you that half hour. So that's like when you're scheduled for a five hour shift, you only get paid for four and a half hours. But they do give you a 10 minute paid break too. But it's kind of nice when you come in and you've been shopping for that two, two and a half hours. And I mean, you've had back to back orders and then, oh, 
you're on break. <laughs> oh, good. I can sit down. I can relax. I can, you know, catch my breath, catch my thoughts and everything. I'm not, I don't have to be in shopping mode. And you do get in shopping mode. Um, another thing is, at the store, be nice to the store staff. They can be your greatest asset and help. Whenever I am there, I say hi to them. I thank them for helping me. I say please. Um, you know, I'm just polite to them. And they like it. They enjoy it. They come up to me and they go, hi, how are your day going? And everything. I go, fine. How's it been here? You know, has it been a slow day, a fast day? Or, you know, and they talk to you and they tell you. They give you an idea. They'll even ask you how it's going if there's if there's been more delivery orders or more pickup orders for the day. They'll ask you questions like that. They'll ask if you need anything. Um, they'll let you know if something is in stock or out of stock. You know, ask them. Be polite to them. Make them your best friend and your best resource. Because that's what they are. They are a resource for you as a shopper. And you cannot have enough resources as a shopper. I mean, you've got the shopper help um, through the app. You've got the app itself. Um, you've got the Slack uh, channel. You've got, um, I know at least in my area, for the in-store shoppers, they've made a Facebook group. You've got that resource. You've got your, team, your team's um, shift and store leaders. Those are a resource. But the biggest one that's going to help you right then and there is the store employees themselves. So make sure that you develop a good relationship with them. If there are issues, don't go off on the manager. Don't Take it to your team lead. Let them deal with it. Because um, sometimes there can be miscommunication or something. Um, if a if you go to a store you've never been there and they say they asked you to do something, you're going, oh, I don't, just do it. But then take and reconfirm with your uh, with your store with your um, team lead. You know, say, hey, I had this this come up. Um, I did it, but what do I do? I need to what? What do I do if this situation comes up again? Because that's what they're there for. And if it's something that is a, a store issue, um, whether with the staff itself um, having issues with, you know, you coming in there and being a shopper, um, they'll man, they'll take care of it. And if they have to, they'll escalate it for you. You don't have to do anything. So understand. They're there to help you and support you, your shift leads, your team leads, um, the company itself. So you don't, you're not in a battle by yourself. But it also helps if you are polite and respectful and don't argue, don't get confrontational, you know, things like that. Um, something else I was going to talk about was while you are shopping, I don't think it'll show up on here. Um, when this is up here, you'll notice it'll say um, how many items to do, done, and in review. This is where the changes will show up when, it, when you see in review. You know, if you had to make a substitution. Done is items that you found. They're You've picked them up, they're good to go. Now also up here, you may see notes, okay? Um, and a lot of this is for um, full service shoppers too. but. You know, that's the information. And as an in-store shopper, you really don't need that. But what will happen is you'll see up here, you'll see a, 
place to message them. That's where that custom greeting comes in. As soon as you get the order, hit it and do that custom greeting. When um, you have to make a change or they're out of something, message the customer. Um, text them unless they put a note in there saying you have to call them. Say, hey, they're out of this, but they do have this, this brand. Is this uh, acceptable to you or do you have another preference? See, you're putting it kind of back on them to accept it or not. Now, once you are done shopping in that, it will say um, all done. It'll, you may have a thing down here that says uh, review or change review changes. Hit that button, it'll review. It may say you need to call the customer. That's when you take you hit the button, call customer. Um, it'll go through. You'll get the call back. Uh, depending upon what where it gets directed, I've seen it from California to Florida to Chicago. <laughs> um, answer it. It'll say press one to. Uh, connect with the customer, you press one, nine times out of ten, you get a voicemail. I just leave a voicemail saying, hey, hi, this is Wendy, your Instacart shopper. I'm just calling to verify that the changes that were made are acceptable. If not, please let me know so I can complete your order. And then I hang up. And usually by then, they've completed through it, and it'll go through and they'll say, all done. Uh, go to checkout. So you hit the go to checkout button. You got probably got to hit two of them in that. But make sure as soon as you um, are completed with the shopping and the calling, if you have to contact them in any way, make sure you hit that call button. That, uh, not call button, uh, go to checkout button because that stops the timer for shopping. All right. Now, sometimes you will get a message from them because they can message you as well and they want to add something. You just press, you'll see a button down here, only add items if requested by the customer over the phone. So if they text you or call you, okay? You just add the item and um, like add new item, it'll take a picture and it'll add it to the um, order and I'll make sure that there's plenty of money on the card to cover for it so I think this video is long enough for a first video on some tips for an in Instacart in-store shopper if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments below um, if you have any suggestions um, something you would like me to cover, please let me know and I will try and do that. But I want to thank you for watching and have a good day.